The Petzl Freno is a specialized locking carabiner that is equipped with a friction spur that is designed to be used with a variety of descenders or belay devices to improve control during descent or lowering. It is without a doubt one of the most expensive carabiners you can buy at roughly $50. Petzl is releasing a new version called the Freno Z that for now will only work with its newly designed bobbin descenders, the Stop and Simple. The basic function of the Freno Z is the same, but the design has changed in a few significant ways. It still has a double action auto locking gate that requires a simple twist and open. The nose is still a key lock design and the friction spur still has a wire gate. The main design change is that the orientation of the friction spur relative to the main gate has flipped upside down. This means that after attaching the carabiner to the bobbin, it must be rotated 180 degrees to get it into the right orientation for the friction spur to work. In order to be able to do that, both the new stop and simple have an enlarged oval slot in the lower side plate that allows the spur to pass through. However, this also means that the new Freno Z will not work with older style bobbins, or with devices such as the Grigri, but the old Freno will still work with the newly designed bobbins. This reverse orientation puts the bobbin into the narrow end of the pear-shaped carabiner. I believe this was done to reduce the potential for cross-loading the carabiner during rope maneuvers where the carabiner is unweighted and reweighted. With the older style Freno, it was surprisingly easy to crossload the device when standing up to remove a short cow's tail or croll. It is nearly impossible to do that with the new configuration. The length and width of the friction spur is very similar to the old model, but the bottom portion is wider, which allows a slightly wider gate opening and makes it a little easier to do a Swiss lock off using larger diameter rope. Unfortunately, it also makes the base of the carabiner even wider than it was before, which makes it a bit more difficult to open and manipulate with one hand. The Freno Z is slightly lighter than the original Freno, but it is also 2 kN weaker in both the primary and cross-loading directions. It is made using the same hot forge process and is still anodized aluminum. The aluminum friction spur and rope path are largely unchanged, so these will probably continue to wear out quickly and continue to cause wear to the side plates of the bobbin, just as with the original Freno. Petzl has not released the new Freno Z for sale yet, though it is rumored to be coming this summer along with the new stop and simple descenders.